On the trail of a relic, now on BBC HD, we head to the British Museum. The British Museum, London, one of the oldest museums on earth. By day, visitors come to see the treasures within, but by night, it's a different story. children approaching. They're here. Welcome to the British Museum. You are about to embark on a wondrous adventure, one you shall never forget. I'm Agatha, your tour guide. I'm much like the tour guides you see here during the day, except for one thing. I am totally, utterly and completely 100% dead. Close your mouth, dear. You look like a codfish. Now, I'm looking for three more guardians for the museum. What are your names? Jude. Natalie. George. Ah, and where have you come from? Cardiff. You must be wondering why you've been summoned here in the middle of the night. Listen carefully. You have just one night to discover the secrets and mysteries of a relic held deep within these walls. You will face three challenges. Each challenge will unlock a vision about your relic. Pass a challenge, and you will all see the vision. Fail, and the vision will be revealed to just one of you, and you will have only their memory to rely on. Your knowledge of the three visions will be tested in the final battle when you come face to face with the Dark Lord. Succeed, and you will become guardians of the museum and receive the Golden Scarab. Fail, and you will become relics yourselves and part of the museum forever. Agatha! <laughs> Dark Lord, he knows you're here, and he'll be sending his dark forces to seek you out. We're not safe here any longer, chaps. It's time for your first challenge. Follow me. Yes, run. Run as fast as you can. My dark forces are coming for the children, and we will find them. My dark forces are everywhere. <laughs> Right. Are we all all right? Yeah. 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 Now, to learn about your relic, you must first unlock a vision, and to do that, you must complete a challenge. Now, your first challenge takes place in the home of these beautiful objects. Come along, chaps. We're off to somewhere nice and hot. So, follow my instructions. Gather round quickly, quickly, and hold on nice and tight. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Jolly good. Off we go. Oh, goodness me. Right. How did you find your first go at time travelling? It was quite good. Yeah. It's jolly yeah. good, isn't it? Yes, it is fun. Right, now, where are we? Oh, yes, India. And unless I'm wrong, and I'm very rarely wrong, this is the Mughal dynasty. So, to your first task, team. Your first challenge is to rescue a princess. Over there is the Imperial Princess Jahanara. Give her a wave. Now, she has been imprisoned. Now, can you see under her window there are three locks? Now, those three locks can be opened by three of these eight bejeweled keys. You have to choose a key and run across this rather rickety-looking bridge. You must try the key in all three locks, yes? Now, you must have all three locks unlocked at the end of 90 seconds in order to pass. If you unlock all three, then all three of you can see the vision. I'm afraid if you fail, only one of you can see the vision. Now, that's not good news for the final battle, OK? So we must pass. OK, so who's going to go first? I'll go first. You're going to go first? Jolly good. Well, then you can go in three, two, one, go! Off you go, George. Oh, what? Give a bit of a word of encouragement. Oh, oh, jolly good. Oh, that's good. Right, you can all three locks, please. One. Next one. Help! Help! Oh, no. Next lot. Quick. 60 seconds. Run back. Oh, oh, right. Very, Very bad, bad luck, team. Come on. Go right. Right. We need, we need to find three of these keys. Come on. Good. Good work, Natalie. Come on. Time's running Come out. On. Come on, Natalie. Come on. Come on. All three locks. Quick as you can. Very yes. well done. Leave it. Well done. Quick. Leave it. And back Leave as quick it. as you can. We've got two more to get now. Come on. And go 
quick, 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 quick as you can. One down, very good news. 30 seconds. Next one. No. Next, next lock. No, try the other lock, try the other lock. Quick, time's running out. No, that's very bad news. Two more to get. Go, go, go. Go along, Jude. Quickly, come on, come on, come on. Yes, very well done. That's two. Come on. Oh, dear, but we're out of time. Oh, you only need to open one more lock. So close, two out of the three you managed to get. Unfortunately, team, you failed. But it's not the end of the world. One of you still gets to see the vision. Now, you have to decide as a team who that's going to be, OK? Make sure you choose someone with a good memory. They will have to pass on what they've seen. Okay. Yes. You're going to see the vision. That means you two have to be sent back to the museum, OK? I will follow on shortly. Make sure you don't touch anything while I'm gone and keep an eye out for the dark forces. Place your hand on the torch and I'll send you back. Where are we? Oh, I think it's a museum. This is scary. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Natalie, it's just you and me. So, you're going to see a vision. Now, I'm going to say a short rhyme. You simply do as I say. But first, to unlock the vision, we have to get into a certain position. So, we have our ankles together, like so. We have to stand up straight like a piece of string pulling you up to the ceiling. And you place your hands on the torch and simply do as I say. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. The vision begins. Where are we? Ancient Egypt. A high priest. He is looking at a special stone. It's being created to celebrate the reign of the great Pharaoh Ptolemy. I can see three inscriptions, but there are two languages, Egyptian and Greek. Two languages so that all of his people can read of his great achievements. He wants one placed in every temple in his land. Wait, the image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Okay, so that was the first vision. And you, Natalie, and you alone saw it. Now, you need to remember everything that you've seen so you can tell your teammates. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Oh, jolly good. Oh, and here they are. Chaps, did you see any dark forces while we were gone? No, no. not really. OK, phew. Now, Natalie, tell them everything that you remember. Um, there was um, a pyramid in Egypt, and there was this Egyptian person, and he had a rock which had two languages on it. Okay. In BC 2 or something. OK, well, based on that, chaps, what do you think the relic is, the relic that you are seeking? I think it might be the stone with the writing on. Oh. OK, well, maybe all will become clear in the next two visions. In the meantime, remember everything that Natalie has told you. It will come in very handy when you meet the Dark Lord. <gasps> Did you hear that? It's just got colder. We're not safe here any longer, chaps. It's on to your next challenge. Follow me, this way. This way! Follow me! Beware, children. My dark forces could be anywhere. Ah! <laughs> Don't let them escape! It's lucky we got away. It's a good job you're good runners. You all all right? Yeah. yeah. They were terrifying. I was very shocked. Oh, it was horrible. Right, well, let's get out of here. It's getting far too dangerous. And anyway, it's time for your next challenge. It takes place in medieval England. Not a particularly nice place, but it's certainly safer than here. So grab a hold, gather round quickly. You know what to do. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Jolly good. Off we go. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh, clumsy Agatha. You know, sometimes it is a bit of a bumpy ride with time travel. Actually, <coughs> what is that smell? I don't know. <coughs> we're, we're in a doctor's surgery. Oh, come, come over here. Yes, this must be medieval <coughs> England. Well, I can't see a doctor anywhere. He must have been called away. 
Ah, yes. Now, it seems that your challenge is to cure these five patients who've all been diagnosed with diarrhoea. Now, it says here in the doctor's notes that diarrhoea is usually cured with leeches. Leeches rather like these oh. fellas. Do you want to have a little sniff of those? Mm. No, they're lovely, they're lovely. Now, you should only take leeches if you are accompanied by a dead tour guide, such as myself. Now, it says, on average, five leeches will cure diarrhoea. So all you have to do is have a look and see if you can choose what the correct number of leeches will be to cure these five patients. And you can't go any higher than ten leeches. So let's just have a look at our first patient. This is Rosie. She's looking a little green around the gills, actually. Now, do you think Rosie needs a higher or lower number of leeches than five? Higher or lower than five? She looks quite ill. So yeah, higher, 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 looks higher. quite ill. So higher or lower than five? You say higher. higher. Our doctor said. Oh. oh, unlucky team on your first one. I'm afraid it's a leech each for you, lovely people. Take one out. You can eat them all together, don't worry. One for you and one for you. OK. One, two, three. And there you go, in the gob. Chew it all up. Ooh, lovely. Three big chews and then spit. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> You just have to go with the diarrhea then, I'm afraid. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at our second patient. This is Roderick. He's the village idiot. I'll let you into a little secret. He pooed his pants earlier. Shh. Now, do you think he needs a higher or lower number of leeches than four? Higher. Higher. Higher? Okay, so higher or lower than four? You say higher. higher. Our doctor said. Oh, yeah, yes. very well done, team. Jolly good. That's what we want. That's one wrong and one right. Let's move on to our next patient. This is Molly. Now, do you think Molly needs a higher or lower number of leeches than six? But we think lower. Yeah, I think lower. Mm -hmm. You've got to agree as a team. All right, so we'll go for higher. 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 Higher or lower than six? You say higher. higher. Our doctor said. Oh. Yes. yes! You were right. Very well done, Jude. That was a gamble. Let's move on to our next patient. Have a good look at him. Do you think he's going to be a higher or lower number than eight? Eight is quite high, isn't it? Yeah, me too. Yeah, let's go for lower. Lower. Higher or lower than eight? You say lower. Our doctor said. Yes. Well done, team. That's excellent news. Super. That's three right. Which, which means you've passed. Jolly good. And it does mean that all three of you can see the vision. Now, to unlock the vision, you have to stand in a certain formation. So you come over to here, Jude, onto this side of me. Now, we're going to hold on to this torch, and I will simply say a rhyme. You simply do as I say. Does that make sense? Jolly good. So, secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. Vision begins. We're still in Egypt, but I sense time has passed. We're at the town of Rosetta. Note the flag. I see an army making improvements to their fortress. They found something. It's the stone. Oh, we're moving. But where are we going? An important message is traveling through Egypt. It's the French Emperor Napoleon. He's been told about the stone. It could help decipher Egyptian hieroglyphs and unlock the secrets of the pharaohs. Oh, Napoleon wants the stone to be kept for the glory of France. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. OK, so that was the second vision, and we all saw it. So what do you remember, chaps? I remember that Napoleon was digging in Rosetta in Egypt for a stone tablet with lots of writing on it. Ah, key. maybe the stone tablet from the first vision. And where was this taking place? In Egypt, in Rosetta. Rosetta. In Rosetta. I remember um, at France, one of the like captains wanted to keep it. I think. Uh, and what do you see the French flag? Well, keep all of that knowledge locked up in your noggins, chaps. You'll need that when you meet the Dark Lord in the final battle. And remember, 
You must answer three of his questions correctly to receive the golden scarab and become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you will belong to the Dark Lord forever. We don't want that, do we? No, no. Way. Right, well, we must keep moving. Those dark forces will be here soon. It's on to your next challenge. Follow me, chaps, this way. All three of you have seen the vision, but will you remember everything? It's way past your bedtime. You must be getting tired. <laughs> right, well done, chaps. You have one more vision to see and one more challenge to face. Now take a look at this weird and wonderful object. It's armor made from crocodile skin. It's thought to have been worn by Roman soldiers. A nasty bunch, I can tell you. I wouldn't want to bump into one of them on a dark night. Hmm. Well, it's time for your next challenge. So, hold on nice and tight. Quickly, chaps, last time. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Jolly good. Off we go. <sighs> oh, now that is what I call a smooth landing. Is everyone okay? Everyone got your fingers? Yep. Yep. Jolly good. Now, where are we? Oh, we're in ancient Rome. Oh, lovely. Right, gather round. Gather, gather round, chaps. We can't. Gather round. We can't. What's, what's we going can't. on? <gasps> what's happened to you? Right, let's get you out. You're going to be no match for the dark forces if you've just get We're yourself We're in a prison! Tired. Oh, goodness. Right, this isn't good news. That is General Glutus Maximus. Uh, he's not very bright, but he can be very mean. Look, just, just do what he says, OK? I I'll hide over here. Don't anger him, whatever you do. Hello, everybody! Who wants their head chopped off? Or we could play a little game. What do you fancy? Game or head cut off? Think about it, have a little think. Game or head chopped off? No rush. Game. Game. Weird, I would have gone for head chopped off myself, but different strokes for different folks. OK, I will give you a series of statements about ancient Rome. All you have to do, as a team, is decide amongst yourselves whether the statements are true or false. If you get three correct, I will let you out of the dungeon. However, get it wrong and you will be punished. And get three wrong and I'll cut your head off. Should you play the game? Yep. 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 OK, I'll play the game. Right, your first statement. In Roman public toilets, you had to sit side by side with up to 20 other people whilst you went to the toilet. True or false? What do you think? I don't know. Jude, what do you think? I, I think because you used to have those long wooden rows, didn't they, with loads of holes yeah, in Yeah, I think it was true. Yeah, true. I'd say yeah, true. 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 Oh, well. True or false? True. 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 You're going for true. I can now reveal you are, in fact, correct! You did indeed have to sit in uh, a row whilst you went to the toilet, and it got very confusing. One time I actually wiped somebody else's bottom by accident. Anyway, <laughs> your next statement. The Caesar salad is named after none other than Julius Caesar. True or false? False. False. False? It's got the same name, Caesar Caesar. Makes sense. False. Yourself. Why do you think it's false? I'm not sure, really. I just think it's false. I'm just taking a random You're guess. You're not sure? Well, I can reveal... You are indeed correct! Right. Your next statement. You had to be born in Rome to become a Roman emperor. True or false? What do you reckon? True. 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 You think it's true? What makes you think that? If you're like the Emperor of Rome, you should be from Rome. Yeah, Rome. makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So, you're saying true. I can reveal that it is false. <laughs> the Emperor Septimus Severus was actually an African from Libya. Very nice fella. You got it wrong, so you are now going to get punished. And that is a lovely bowl of slop collected from the toilets I mentioned in my earlier statement. Have a little sniff of that. Jude, smell that. Tell you what, there might be a bit of mine in there as well. Have a fish, see if you can find it. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of this as well. Look, there's a nice lump oh. in there. Oh, oh dear, it's gone down your back. Oh. And 
all over your white top. That's a shame. There's a bit on the front and all. Look. Right. Oh. What about you over here? Your hair looks lovely. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Next statement. The Romans thought a roast dormouse was a delicacy. True or false? True. True. What makes you think true? Because I've read it somewhere. Sorry? I've read it somewhere. You read it somewhere? You don't look like you can read. Is that your final answer? I can reveal that it is, in fact, true! That means that you can go! You can be set free and enjoy the rest of your lives in lovely, sunny sunshine, minus one <coughs> thing. Your eggs, because I'm going to chop them off anyway. Oh, goodness me. Looks like I froze him just in time. Right, let's get you out of there. There we go. Right, quick, gather round. Very well done, team. That means you passed. <laughs> now, that means all three of you can see the vision. Now, you know how to do a vision? It must be quick before he unfreezes. So, heels together, standing up nice and straight. Put your hand on the torch and simply do as I say. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. We're in London, here at the British Museum. But a long time ago, an expert, Thomas Young, He's got the Rosetta Stone, but how? It was surrendered by the French to the British Army when they defeated Napoleon in Egypt. If the carvings have the same meaning, we could decode the hieroglyphs and understand the Egyptian language. But wait, the vision is changing. Where are we going? France. French expert Jean-Francois Champollion is working on deciphering the stone. Who will make the breakthrough? He's done it! Champollion's done it! He's decoded the stone! The history of ancient Egypt can now be revealed. The Rosetta Stone is used to translate hieroglyphs. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. So, that was the third and final vision. So what can you recall, chaps? The Englishman's name was Tom Jones. Right. I remember that um, Tom Jones had the stone and he was trying to figure it out what it meant. But in France, um, the man already knew what it said. He figured it out. Right. What do you remember, Jude? I remember that the English got the stone by winning a battle over France overseas. So, we do know that the relic that we are seeking is the... Rosetta, Rosetta stone. Rosetta Stone. I agree with you. Well. Remember everything that you've learned, chaps. You will need that knowledge when you face the Dark Lord. And now we must make our final journey to face him. To the Great Court, chaps! Follow me, but keep your eyes peeled. The Dark Forces could be anywhere. Okay, follow me! So, all three visions seen, but do you have the knowledge to win? Now, it's time to face me! <laughs> right, this is it, chaps. This is your final battle. The very best of luck to you. I just need to summon the Dark Lord. shines bright and darkness reigns. I bring three children here again. Their minds are sharp, the visions seen. Dark Lord, awake! We challenge thee! <laughs> Three more children. Why not hand them over now? They'll never beat me. <laughs> well, actually, they've done jolly well tonight. Silence! Do you really think they have the knowledge to defeat me? Yes. yes. As you wish, let the battle commence. Three visions you have seen about a relic held within these walls. I shall ask you questions about what you have seen. Three correct answers will earn your freedom, and you will become guardians of the museum. Three incorrect answers, and you shall never leave. You will become relics yourselves, and remain here for all time. George, step forward. 
It's time for the first question. Good luck, George. The Rosetta Stone was created to celebrate the reign of which pharaoh? <laughs> sure. Pass. Let us see what you failed to remember. It's being created to celebrate the reign of the great pharaoh Ptolemy. <laughs> now your teammate belongs to me. One down, two to go. This is very bad news. The Dark Lord has taken George. You can still win this, chaps. You need three more questions correct in order to win. Natalie, approach. Good luck. Name the two languages written on the surface of the Rosetta Stone. I pass. <laughs> Let us see what you fail to remember. But there are two languages, Egyptian and Greek. Now you join George, and you belong to me. <laughs> oh, Jude, you have lost both your teammates. It's all down to you, but you can still win this. Jude, step forward. What nationality was the expert who deciphered the Rosetta Stone? The French? Let us see. France! French expert Jean-Francois Champollion is working on deciphering the stone. Yes! You still need two more. Prepare for your next question. What was the name of the expert studying the Rosetta Stone here at the British Museum? Was it Tom James? Let us see. Here at the British Museum, but a long time ago, an expert, Thomas Young. <laughs> I win, and now you join your friends. You shall never leave. You will remain here for all time. Agatha, you have failed, and my darkness reigns supreme. I will return. More children will come. And I will be waiting. <laughs> oh, I can't believe the Dark Lord won. I need more children to fight him. We can defeat him, chaps. Until next time, following on.